Hey and welcome to Tech Talk. Uh, we're doing a little bit slow today. We've only got one guy, one app amateur. Yeah, yeah. One app go amateur there. behind the scenes over there. So uh, there may be a, a few little slow moments. Yeah, okay. maybe a hiccup or so. But shout out sure to we'll our engineers today. Yeah, <laughs> way to go out there, guys. Okay, so. Guy. This is Tech Talk, and today we're talking about your holiday tech buying guide, I guess, and what's new and what might be popular, and maybe how to, to choose the right things for you according to your lifestyle. And when, when you're worried about me, you know, I wrote down my list and yeah. oh, yeah. each Check have it a out. copy These of These didn't it. have to Wonderful. be like four pages. Yeah. <laughs> this, is like a, this is a book. This is yeah, literally book. books. Well, yeah. But yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I wanted you to get me what I wanted, not what you thought so, I needed. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, that nowadays. is a big problem. That is huge. <laughs> is why do I need that? You know, because it's everybody has everything. Seems right. like. Uh, but yeah, the back in the is, day, it's like I need socks. Yeah. I need a pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. You know, and now mm -hmm. everybody has everything has that they everything. need. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Now you have heated socks that record how far you've walked. Oh, really? yeah. Reports it to your iPhone and then stores a map. Yep. Up in the cloud of, yep. of where you've where, been. where you've traveled, yeah, and all that stuff. Isn't that nice to think about that? Somebody's following you with yeah. your socks. Yeah, your wife bought you some new socks. New socks, and she sees where you go. You're tracking, yeah, <laughs> with the downloadable Stalk Me app. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we, we can never be lost again. <laughs> right, great. Or somebody couldn't be. Who knows? Well, who knows? Yeah, who knows? That might well, be okay for certain certain situations. Absolutely. So. You well, know, what are we going to start off with? Well, we, we, we talked about this briefly a couple of weeks ago when we shared some ideas. Yeah. And, you know, I started to think about what kind of categories of, uh, you know, gifts and gadgets mm -hmm. we have, you know. And uh, mm -hmm. I got the consumer report and I, like I started to look through what they had for gift giving. And then it really hit me when I saw the crock pot yeah. with Wemo. So that when you're a little bit delayed at the soccer game, you can go back into your app and you can turn on and off your home devices. Mm -hmm. You know, set that crock pot back a little bit so you can eat a little bit later in the evening. So what's and Wemo? What's that stand for? I'll, I'll let my associate explain what that one was. I what? don't know the acronym. Well, yeah, okay. that's a good question. I think everybody's got a different ones too. But what's that? It's, it's almost like your home... Um, intranet if you would okay uh, but it's all everything is in home um, you can use does that include the, the nest pot. thing uh, some do some don't some you have to add okay. okay for like the the Wemo I think if you want to add devices to that you have to get what's uh, is a bridge hmm. to add more devices otherwise it's like a one-to-one -one. you tie your phone to that crock pot mm -hmm. but now if you want multiple crock pots you have to get a bridge that okay. you put in your house, almost like a router in a way, and then those will talk to one phone multiples. For like right now, I have one on my grill okay. outside, so I don't have to keep judging, well, am I about out of gas? It weighs the tank for you as you go, and I it will remind you. Where do you find <clears throat> that? Well, you know, oddly enough, we found it at uh, one of like Home Depot, Walmart, or not, uh, Lowe's, Lowe's, things like that, yeah. Um, one of the fellows at work found found it, and uh, <laughs> you had to have it. We had to have it, yeah. So you, <laughs> you just put this little Bed Bath and Beyond, Home yeah. Depot. They've all and, liked and, it, and then all your favorite online stores. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. But but they have all kinds of gadgets. They have light bulbs, smart light bulbs. That What's so smart about you? Turn that? them on and off with your phone. You hmm. don't have to go over and hit a switch or nothing like that. They'll just. Want, Oh, yeah, turn I'm, my light on. Turn, you know, it, thank now, goodness. Is, is that the really drudgery of turning on lights. Yeah, it, that's really getting <laughs> they lazy. I think. Let's turn the lights. I on. think it's, is, is it programmable? Yeah. So, it is, so that you could say, "I'm going to turn my lights on and off when I'm not there." And uh, well, you know, I think they are. Somebody comes at the back door and they want to know you're there, and you've you've already mm -hmm. got the coffee brewing, and they, oh, I got to yeah. got to stay away. Well, you know I, what I, I want? Know. I want a way to text my dogs. If the dogs <laughs> need to turn the lights on, I want them to be able they to turn, turn the lights on. on. That would be interesting. Yeah. It might be a new, <laughs> new, new patent for you. Uh, yeah. Kickstarter, I'm sure, will have somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely. That would be a good one. Thanks for the, the idea, right? Yeah. There's the useful and there's the ridiculous. Ridiculous. And, yeah, there's and, so many. And I, I guess that's where I am. And uh, I'm still at the point where 
I may not buy things for myself. Mm -hmm. And if I've hinted and my wife or my daughter pick up on it, Mm -hmm. I might find it for Christmas. Right. Yeah, yeah you do that at times. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And you go, well, I, I just really was talking about it. I really don't need it. You know, sometimes sure. you do and sometimes you sure. don't. And yeah. then there are the things like saying, like, what in the world were you thinking? Mm -hmm. you know, like the socks. <laughs> yeah. Like the socks. socks. Like the socks. <laughs> now, uh, I guess I was, was going to start with 4K TV. Ooh. So nice. what's the deal with 4K? Uh, and it's, it's weird because... Okay, you get your 1080, which is uh -huh. HDTV. Yep. That was measured in, I think, this way. Uh -huh. 4K is measured this way. But anyway, it's basically four times the pixels that a HDTV has. So I don't know if it's worth it to buy one now because you actually have to have 4K inputs. Input. I was going to say, can you really take advantage of that? I'm sure there's some places. Maybe a, a, a DVD or a movie or something. Yeah. I, don't know. I don't know if they're streaming 4K yet because that's a I lot of information. Yeah. I don't think they and are. And if Blu-ray's gone 4K, but 4K cameras are just coming out. Mm -hmm. Time to up the bandwidth on your internet connection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure we can. That's a bill. That's that, a big bill. Um, okay, when, 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 you, when you have a TV that's this size and, and you're doing 1080, Mm -hmm. And it looks fantastic. You right. go to a little bit larger one, still pretty good. But when you get the really large ones, mm -hmm. and you're in a short distance to the screen, right? That's where it sometimes pays I off. can't see the hockey puck that goes across the screen, mm -hmm. and and that's where 4K would help out. Right. Yeah. It doesn't look as pixelated if you get close to it. Yeah. Do you There's have a, pen? a lot more detail. Do you have a I don't pen? have a pen. Put it on my list. Put that on. Oh, he wants a <laughs> he wants the 4K. <laughs> I forgot to put it down. Yeah. I, okay. What so, about the curve TV? I'm gonna I want to throw that in there. I'm not I, sure if that's worth it. Uh, the, you know, I, I've seen it, and I actually have a family member that bought one. Yeah. And, and they're pretty dang nice. The only the nice. concern I have with it is if it's curved, it's going to pick up more of the lights in the background in the room, mm -hmm. rather than in just one direction. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't see that. Yeah. But, you know I'm what not I mean? sure what the finish is on it, but yeah. that was my concern. I'm not sure if that's a fad. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, but you got your 4K TV along with 4K TVs. Uh, picking out a TV when you're looking at each of them, one important thing is uh, contrast ratio. Mm -hmm. Contrast ratio is the difference between the brightest whites and the darkest darks. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, the the harder part is getting your blacks right okay so what's right what's wrong well I mean, darker what, blacks yeah. are better is there a number that we're looking for or wh what do we compare is it well zero the higher, or the higher number of the contrast okay you know it's a ratio like a one to four thousand or uh -huh. something or one to eight thousand so the higher that contrast is the the more uh difference there is between your brights and your darks so the bigger the number is what we're looking for right and that that's why keep it simple yeah that makes sense. Okay. Now, what about the hertz of a TV? I hear a lot of that too. That that that, that plays effect in effect to a TV. That's Do you your, see that a lot? That's your uh, refresh rate, refresh rate, I think. Mm -hmm. So, if you're watching like a football game and the and the, the camera is going left and right, mm -hmm. and things are happening, that's where if it you, jitters, right? Right. If you pay attention, okay. you'll see like put 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 yeah. across there. So, the higher the hertz the more it'll refresh as that goes through and the smoother mo the movements will be on your screen. Gotcha. There is a difference in a 40 inch TV that's 1080 mm -hmm. and then you have that refresh rate and then you have whether or not they've got a computer built into it. Oh, with the all, smart TV. With all the, with all the bells and whistles. Yeah. Okay, and then that goes into the Apple TV mm -hmm. which I do have a, a picture of and... It's in there. Okay, that is the Okay, this will start a little bit of a, a thing. This is the, uh, the look of the Apple TV mm -hmm. when it's turned on. This is the menu. So the movies and the TV shows, the music and the radio. Go back. Okay, all those are iTunes, right? Yeah. Movies you can buy from iTunes, uh, TV shows, and yeah. the music that, is all iTunes. That middle row. That's where it is connected to. Okay. okay, 
So if you're an Apple person, you have an iTunes account and you want to reference mm -hmm. all those things, that might be the way to go. And, you know, it's got several other, I don't know if there's like 10 rows under that. Yeah. You got Netflix and Hulu and HBO Go. There's HBO Now. HBO Now, I think, is the service where you can subscribe to HBO. And it's the get a la carte. Yeah. Right, you can get it on the Apple TV. HBO Go is where you extend your satellite or cable HBO onto your Apple TV. Okay. Then after that, we've got, go ahead, the Roku. Okay, there's the, that's the new Apple TV with the, uh, new, the remote new remote, remote where you can swipe across the top end of it, which I guess is, is pretty nice. Now, does that, uh, I think the uh, Fire TV, you can talk to the remote. Can that one, can you talk to that? Yeah, that's got Siri. See, that's got Siri, okay. Mm -hmm. so I didn't find know me something, find me a funny movie. Yeah. And okay. then it'll find you a funny movie. Awesome. Okay. Okay, this There's is the Amazon, what is it, the Fire? Fire TV. Fire TV, yeah. So that's, the, it's that the same thing. If mm -hmm. you have Amazon Prime, yep. is that right? Yep. Then you have access mm -hmm. to all that mm -hmm. content. All right, so the Apple TV, you've got your iTunes. Amazon, you've got Amazon Prime. Yep. Okay. And then you have the remote there, the or the it's game more of a game, game, thing. game thing, because you can actually turn it into a game console. Okay. You can almost not, you know, not it's not an Xbox or a, a PlayStation or something like that, but you can certainly play games on it. And Angry Birds. Angry Birds. Yeah. Okay. Angry Birds. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. At least yeah, you have Angry yeah, Birds. Yep. Yeah. There's the Roku, which is kind of. I don't know if it's a more standalone thing. You've got a Roku, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I started off with a Roku uh, because I, I wasn't a, a big Apple user at the time. Right. And uh, it had all of the services from Netflix to Hulu to Amazon. Mm -hmm. And there was just a lot of channels that were broadcasting on to the, the uh, Roku. Um, but as soon as you know the Chromecast came out, yeah. I have uh, an Android tablet. And that's and this so, little deal here, right? Yeah, and, and it's actually, yeah, just this piece right there. And then everything yeah, the, else the, the rest just, of it's a power adapter. Yeah. Right, so so this it, little piece right there, this it is It allowed me to take whatever was on my tablet and display it. On the, on so the TV? So I had two TVs. One had the Chrome and one had the Roku. Gotcha. Got a TV, you know, that had the smart TV, everything built in. You don't need it. Well, no, I'll, I'll find yeah. another place for it. There's, yeah. there's always another TV. <laughs> there, yeah, you can but, always. Yeah, but even even the iPad now takes Chromecasts. Oh, okay. So really? I can cast from an Apple device to a Google device. Okay. Nice. Which, yeah, the thing I liked about the Apple TV is, you know, all my stuff, my music is on my Mac Pro. Mm hmm and it connects my Mac Pro in the other room to my TV, which is connected to my sound system, and then I can have access to all the movies and mm -hmm. music on that. I don't have to sit in front of my computer and listen right. to it. My TV lets me look for router-attached storage. So if I have video assets stored on my, on my home system, mm -hmm. uh, it's plugged into my Wi-Fi router, and now I can call up and put on a slideshow of all the pictures uh, yeah, of our vacation or something. That's on your TV? Yeah, it will display on the TV. So you can do that with the Roku? The um, I don't, think, I don't, it's, think, I, I don't think it's on that Roku yet. Okay. Yeah. But I can do it from my phone with an app, my tablet with an app, or mm -hmm. on the TV natively. Yeah. Okay. And so I, the difference between these things is just where do you want to get your content? Pretty yeah, much. It, it, they all kind of do the same sort of stuff, but mm -hmm. make sure you figure out wh where you want to get your content and if you want to stream from what type of computer. And, right. and if you give it to your father-in-law for Christmas, plan on coming back every other week to teach him how to do it. Got to oh, do a, yeah. little <laughs> a little training. A little training. Well, it really is. I mean, you know, we're mm -hmm. tech professionals. Yeah. And, and we thrive on... It's tough enough only, for me sometimes. Not only yeah. the gadgets, but also the, the, the technologies and how they work and, and when they work or don't work. Mm -hmm. And you need, a, you need a map and you need, you need a friendly guide. You, you need somebody to help you out and, mm -hmm. and kind of show you the ropes. Okay, another thing I have on pictures over there is the uh, drones. I know the drones have been drones big in huge. the news. Yep. And you can get them from what, you said 35 35 Actually, you can buy them now. I, there was one for $17 I seen. Really? Yeah, but $35. Now, this one's a little more than that. Actually, 
I've that's I about actually, 1200 right <clears throat> if you tear that down a little bit and take out the the GoPro that drone is $65 really I have just the drone that looks identical to that I swear it is $65 okay now no this pictures? is a I, I no it had it came okay. with a little camera all right underneath it not a GoPro now now when you go GoPro and stuff that that changes the ball game completely but it came with a just a little video camera w that it will take video or stills oh, right. and uh, it has a little micro SD card in it okay. this uh, this model that you know we're seeing now actually displays what the camera sees yes well, the other one does too. Yeah. But you have to pay attention to what you're buying when you get a drone. This one uh, is one of my more favorites because it's programmable. It will circle you. It will follow you. You can tell it to go point to point. There are several different things you can do. But in buying a drone, remember like this one, it doesn't come with the gimbal, which a gimbal is the thing that holds the camera and keeps the camera steady. Yep. Uh, it does come with a camera mount, but not a gimbal. The GoPro camera, it doesn't come with that. So the GoPro is 500. The gimbal, I think, is about three. You have to have your own phone to load the app with. Uh -huh. uh, so, you know, the drone, this one itself, is about $1,000, plus the, you know, the, the remote you know, the remote controls, right. but you still need a phone, camera, and gimbal. So it'll add up to approaching $2,000, but it's a, it's a cool one. And then you've got a, a, this one, which I think is a little bit cheaper, a lot cheaper, I think. Yeah. What was that one called? Uh, this is the uh, Parrot brand. Parrot, yeah. And so they're, they're one That's of the leading That's a built-in camera, I think. Yeah, it's a built-in built camera. In camera. It's just right in the, the main body of the... Uh, like the nose of it right the there. The nose I of think. it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's not a machine gun or a laser beam or anything? <laughs> no. Okay. And we'll have to be looking out to see what kind of rules and regulations if you got to get licensed and all that there, stuff. The, yeah, there is a lot of the rules. The first of the year now. is supposed to be the new rules for the, the drones. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you got to watch out for that stuff. But, but yeah, there's all shapes and sizes of them things coming out now to the the small one is literally much, not much more than the size of like a quarter a bumblebee or something. yeah and uh, it, it actually when you go to store it you store it right on your controller it stores away right on top of it and so do you get that just to annoy the dogs and your, your well, in-laws I, I or something i think so you can just like buzz people and it's nuts but uh, 35 bucks will get you one of them little guys and, and, and you can, you can be instantly it. annoying oh absolutely <laughs> in, a, in a heartbeat but hey so from drones what else we've got uh, I see storage devices, I see machines, I see more phones. You know, so some mm -hmm. of us you know, wait for the holidays to give the big gift. Yeah. Uh, other times, and there's a useless gift right there. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. So I've, I've, how many times have I heard, I just don't feel good on the virtual you know, that uh, keyboard. And so this is called the iType. Uh, it was under the category worthless gifts. <laughs> for the guy who has everything, I so, guess. So yeah. what it actually does is for the tactile typist, it allows you to type it her, yeah. and it will hit your... Uh, the screen in the right the place. Screen. Yeah. And uh, along with that, that you can also get gloves that you don't have to take your gloves off to operate your phone. Yeah. So yeah. those are kind of cool. And this is kind of a Wemo device. If it, if it can measure yeah. the gas in your gas tank, yeah, it, this one can tell you when you've uh, overcooked your uh, meat on your the grill. Meat. Yep. Uh, yeah. So that's a uh, like a it's real the eye temperature sensor. It's the eye grill mini. Yeah, it's yeah. a temperature sensor. Okay. There, there's so many of those devices out there. Like that's the Nest for the heating and cooling of your house. Yeah, and that, and, a, that and, a, and a, you know learns. We, we've got this new term that they have the acronym IoT, Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that can connect to the internet, and the internet connects to your phone or your mobile device. So we really have the ability to do home security you know, keep track of your furnace um, mm -hmm. and, and, and know when, you know, to turn yeah. down the crock pot, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay, another popular thing is going to be Wearables? the iWatch or whatever else mm -hmm. they have other, made like that. Other watches, Copies. yeah. Copyright. Uh, so what's, why would you get an iWatch? I, 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 I don't, don't wear jewelry uh, yeah. or anything I, like that. I don't that. wear a watch, so a watch doesn't do me any good, but we don't want to poo-poo the idea. Right. I, oh, no, I don't think but so. It, I think it's... Is it more of a... Is it a standalone thing, or is it an extension of your phone? 
I thought it was an extension of your phone to a degree. It's an extension of the phone. It, yeah. And if I was in a meeting and I didn't want to be rude to the yeah. point where I'm picking Coming, up picking my phone, phone and looking at it, I could subtly have my hand on the desk at your watch. and well, you don't want, to, don't want to be too obvious, but yeah. you can see when things are coming up. Yeah. If so it's if a weather my alert eBay or thing, notification. My eBay thing is going to end here in like yeah. uh, 10 seconds. You can see it. Then you, you excuse yourself and you go out <laughs> to the, yeah. yeah. Um, to some of us, it's non-essential. Mm -hmm. well, right. We have a security uh, engineer in Columbus, and whenever there's an attack, it sends a notification to his watch. Mm -hmm. And so he needs to drop what he's doing and get to a real keyboard to do the forensics. Hmm. So but, research that. Yeah, and, and, and there's some junky gifts. You know, there was one that uh, uh, was a keychain, and it was like a, uh, a virtual uh, bubble wrap. Um, oh, right. Th they've come out with mini computers now, and so mm -hmm. teaching uh, young people, you know, from a tablet to That's the this, kit is, there. this is what a real computer is. Yeah. So this um, is like a Heath kit type of This deal. is a Raspberry Pi. Mm -hmm. And it, it runs Windows, and you hook it up to your your TV set through okay. an HDMI, and it has a little touchpad and a real keyboard, and it's it's pretty programmed with with built-in laps, but it's you know a, a young child's first uh, you know first computer. So that's sort of like what it reminds me of the uh, the Commodore, the little keyboard style thing that hooked up to your TV. Yeah, of of its time. I'm showing my age. Yeah, but you know that. Bluetooth speakers, I, I mean, my Bluetooth speaker, you know, yeah. you, you call it a, a cooler, you yeah. know, coming in. And, and this thing is huge. It really is. Yeah. And, um, you know, for me, it, it, it was uh, the right time and the right price. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, this is where, you know, it's great for the patio, but if the recipient of the gift really wanted one of the small the little round colored yeah. ones mm -hmm. and it's a style statement as well yeah. and the quality then the bose the the samsung's yeah. all of those high-end brands are going to have the sound to, right. to match the, the the looks and appearance so, and of picking it. that out figure out where the person is going to use it is it supposed to be for an extension outside the house you know, like on the deck, which size wouldn't matter, but if you're going to take it on the road or something, then you, you want something smaller. Absolutely, and, yeah. And then also listen mobile. to them all because they have all different, you know, fidelity levels. I think mm -hmm. earbuds are the thing that I see most uh, as I walk across campus. Yeah, right. Yet uh, people are either going to put over the ear, um, you know, headsets on, and whether they're noise canceling and they're you know, blocking out the outside noise, mm -hmm. especially important for people that fly a lot or in right. noisy environments. Yep. Or they are uh, just wanting to hear good quality sound. There we go. Uh, the the mm -hmm. next stage is going and cutting the cords and having that, you know, ear, you know, unit mm -hmm. be a Bluetooth. Be a Bluetooth. So. And I'm um, seeing that a lot. Now those more. are more of the noise cancellation. That's that's a high end Bose noise canceling headphone, as opposed to an earbud. Right. Which basically that has a microphone on the outside. It takes the sound from the outside and reverses it, yep. so it cancels it. it. It inverts it. Right. And then uh, also has a radio, Bluetooth, back to your device. Right. So you, you do the pairing. And, you know, prices are out of this world. You can go from a, a $9 to a $90 pretty darn quick if you can justify the difference in your what you perceive as the quality between quality. nine and ninety, mm -hmm. what you're doing, yeah, yeah. You try know, them if, out and see yeah. what you think. Yeah, um, I, I think you know for uh, for the person that just absolutely never picked up on uh, cell phones, maybe the the adapter it would be a good gag uh, stocking stuffer. That, I don't know. That's absolutely. probably easier to hold between your head <laughs> yeah. and your shoulder. I mean, it is. You know, when you're sitting there, you get a. Does yeah. that qualify as hands-free when you're driving? Oh, you know, I don't know if yeah. that'd be, yeah. <laughs> that, could, that could be hands-free, put it up there. Yeah. Um, That's you know, sh shoulder-free. I, I, I know I'm not very romantic, but, uh, you know, building a nice little computer for somebody mm -hmm. uh, might be an option. Uh, buying some, some memory, doubling out what they have right now if their computer is still usable, but mm -hmm. going from a spinning disk to a solid state. Solid state. You wouldn't believe the difference it makes when you go to a solid state drive and that computer comes on and is usable in you know one minute flat. Yeah. Now would the uh, 
Oh, the issue of failures be a lot less with that than the you know the mechanical type drive. The measurement of mean time between failures still exists for electronics that could go bad or mechanical. I was just wondering, yeah, you that, your that is that it. is not impact at, right. you know prone as a spinning drive that would cause right. that. Um, I believe this is a limited lifetime warranty mm -hmm. on, on on both those type of memory modules. But uh, I inherited a hand-me-down laptop that more than meets my need, I don't want to buy a new one because right. with a solid state drive, it, it does everything that I need to. Yeah, speeds it up a little more, gives sure. you some storage. Yeah. Sure. And but then you've got some extra solid state storage too. Yes, if you needed to add on to that. So, you know, we can call this, you know, the accessories. Yeah. You want to hit this real quick? Tablet. Tablets and, yeah. and readers? Exactly. And that's a variety of readers from where if you're, you, or I should say tablets, if you're going from Android to uh, an iPad to Kindles, it's a variety of things. And I think we talked about <clears throat> to where the Android tablet, you can almost convert that Android tablet into a Kindle with, with the apps and things that, that comes with it. And in, in, in the same way with the iP iPad. Uh, you can mm -hmm. convert that. Yeah. So, in, in, a, in a nutshell, seems like they've figured out a way to make a Kindle this, on other devices. This is a Kindle. It's a Nook. Yeah. It's a Kobo. It's a, an Android uh, or Play Store. Yep. And I have all the apps on it. And, mm -hmm. you know, find a, a good geeky friend. Right. Go through the, the options of what you're thinking of. See how they're going to use it. See what kind of environment that they have and what they right. prefer. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, a, I'm an Apple guy, so you know what to get me. Right. We're sure. going to get you an Android device. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going to get you that watch. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, that watch. That's what he wants. I know that. So. But yeah, I don't know. I um, I like cool stuff, but mm -hmm. I don't think my family's going to hit it right on my expectations if they right. buy for me. Right. So gift cards are always good to like yeah. Amazon or whatever. Yeah, Perfect. I think that I think those are awesome things yeah. like that because iTunes, Amazon Play so Store, much. Amazon, uh, or or just go out and get the Mastercard Visa gift card yeah. and and mm -hmm. and let people go out to dinner. Right. That works too. You can take me out to dinner. There we go. We'll go. <laughs> we'll go down here to this new uh, rib place. Or you can show them how to be romantic. There we yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. With a, <laughs> with a it's, indoor It's been great getting together with you guys. Is. Yeah. Okay. Well, this has been Tech Talk for the holidays. Uh, thanks for watching, and you'll probably see us in, Next month? Yeah. Oh, I right. think. About a month from now. Yeah. Okay.